A robot that charges itself and works non-stop is no longer just an idea, it's real and it's already on the job. UB Tech's new Walker S2 is the first humanoid that can swap its own battery without any help. No cables, no downtime, no human intervention. It walks to the station, changes its battery in under three minutes, and keeps going. Tested by major manufacturers and built for 24-7 operation, this robot isn't here to assist, it's here to take over. Walker S2 comes from Ubitech Robotics, a Chinese company based in Shenzhen that's been making some serious waves in the humanoid space. If the name rings a bell, it's probably because they made headlines back in 2023 when they became the first humanoid robot manufacturer to go public on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. But they've gone way beyond corporate milestones. They're now actively testing and deploying these robots in real, high-stakes environments like at NEO, Zeker, and BYD's production lines. These aren't just proof-of-concept trials. These are actual factory floor implementations. The thing is, for years, humanoid robots had one big Achilles heel. Battery life. Even the most advanced models with incredible agility and AI coordination still needed humans to step in, either to plug them in or swap out batteries manually. And when you pause a robot for charging, especially during production hours, you're not just wasting time, you're adding a huge layer of maintenance overhead. But Walker S2, it eliminates that bottleneck. This robot has a dual battery system, and more importantly, it knows exactly when and how to perform a swap, completely autonomously. There's no shutdown, no alerts, no crew waiting nearby. In a demo video released by UB Tech, the robot walks up to its charging station, carefully detaches a depleted power pack from its chest cavity, slides it into the dock, pulls out a fully charged one, inserts it, and walks away. That's it. The entire process takes about three minutes. It's fast, clean. And here's the kicker, it's plug and play. And this isn't a delicate balancing act. This is happening in busy industrial environments with unpredictable variables, shifting workflows, and real operational pressure. Now let's talk about what powers all this. Walker S2 runs on standardized battery modules, meaning the company has built a system that's scalable and repeatable. You're not dealing with proprietary one-off solutions. The batteries can be produced and swapped across fleets, making it way easier to support large-scale deployment. But even more critical than standardization is the power balancing logic. Walker S2 doesn't just run on a single battery. It uses a dual battery setup with failover capacity. So if the primary battery dies or malfunctions mid-task, it instantly flips over to the secondary unit, no pause, no loss of memory state, and no disruption in performance. And here's where it gets smarter. The robot doesn't always swap the battery, that would be inefficient. Instead, it evaluates the situation dynamically and chooses between a quick battery swap or plug-in charging based on current task urgency and its remaining battery reserve. So, say you're in the middle of a critical assembly sequence, it'll prioritize a swap to get back to work immediately, but if it's idle or assigned low priority routines, it might choose to dock and charge instead. That's what UTech calls dynamic energy management, and it's pretty much what enables Walker S2 to operate 24-7 with no scheduled downtime. Now, of course, the technology to physically swap a battery isn't new. Electric vehicles like those from NEO already pioneered battery swap stations. But what we're seeing now is that exact philosophy, autonomous, quick, seamless recharging, applied to humanoid robotics. And it makes perfect sense. Unlike electric vehicles, which sit idle most of the day, robots on production lines are expected to move, adapt, and perform tasks continuously. A robot that can recharge itself without help is no longer a dependent machine. It's now a fully autonomous agent, something that factories can deploy like any other infrastructure. But there's another layer that's just as fascinating. Walker S2 isn't an isolated robot running solo routines. It's part of a much bigger picture. Earlier this year, UB Tech started showing off its BrainNet system, a cloud-based orchestration platform that lets multiple humanoid robots collaborate as a swarm. BrainNet is basically a hierarchical intelligence framework. You've got a super brain running in the cloud. This handles high-level logic, production planning, resource distribution, and predictive scheduling. Then you've got a sub-brain that lives on each robot, handling local control, navigation, and decision-making in real time. And the architecture is wild. The super brain runs on a proprietary, large-scale, multimodal reasoning model trained on real-world data from automotive manufacturing. 
It uses retrieval augmented generation to stay context aware and adjust production logic as factory conditions change. That's what makes it different from static automation. This system actually adapts. It knows when a robot should switch tasks, when to reroute around an obstacle, and how to prioritize work based on bottlenecks across different parts of the assembly line. Meanwhile, each Walker robot's subbrain uses transformer-based control systems and semantic visual slam for navigation. They can build and share maps of their environment, coordinate movements, and avoid collisions, even in narrow, crowded, constantly shifting industrial zones. And yes, they use agile manipulation, meaning the limbs aren't just programmed with static motions, but can fine-tune grip and trajectory on the fly based on object weight, texture, and feedback. So when you see these robots collaborating, it's not just pre-scripted dance. They're actively negotiating space, time, and workload with each other in real time. At Zeker's Smart Factory, Ubotech demonstrated dozens of Walker S1 robots working together, assembling parts, performing inspections, moving components, all synchronized, all guided by shared logic and mapped vision. That's cooperative robotics operating at scale, not in a lab, not as a concept, but in a live industrial setting. Now back to the Walker S2 specifically. One big upgrade it brings over its predecessor, Walker S1, is its anthropomorphic bipedal locomotion. It doesn't shuffle like earlier bots, it walks like a human. Stable gait, adaptive step control, balance correction, all built in. This makes it more suitable for dynamic environments like a factory floor where humans, machines, and forklifts are constantly in motion. Combined with the hot swappable battery system, that movement style makes it ideal for navigating to and from the charging bay, aligning with docks, and maneuvering around other workers without needing external positioning or assistance. But let's not forget the context here. This leap didn't happen in a vacuum. The Chinese government has been doubling down on robotics and artificial intelligence as national priorities. You've got favorable policies, industrial funding, and venture capital all flowing in. According to Morgan Stanley, more than half of all listed companies working on humanoid robots are now Chinese. And Moody's recently labeled China a robotics powerhouse because of how it combines high-end AI with low-cost manufacturing infrastructure. And the Walker series is right at the center of that push. It's not just about automating physical labor. It's about enabling a new category of machine labor that's intelligent, autonomous, and continuously scalable. When you start thinking about what this means for global manufacturing or for logistics, warehousing, and even home care in the long run, it's pretty clear that we're not looking at assistants anymore. These are independent systems that operate like workers. Workers that don't sleep, don't take breaks, and don't need someone to plug them in when they run out of juice. One more interesting note, Ubitech isn't working alone. In May 2025, they signed a major partnership with Huawei, and that's a big deal. Huawei brings in expertise from telecom infrastructure, fifth generation networks, cloud computing, and edge AI, all of which are key ingredients if you want humanoid robots to scale beyond one factory and into hundreds. The combination of Ubitech's hardware and Huawei's platform support could mean these robots will soon be communicating across factories, coordinating at scale, and getting smarter through continuous cloud updates. That's the full breakdown on Walker S2, the first humanoid robot that powers itself and never needs a human to step in. If you found this interesting, hit that like button, drop a comment, and make sure to subscribe for more updates on the future of AI and robotics. Thanks for watching.